All right, I'm running a little bit behind. I'm gonna meet the guys, and we're gonna be heading north again, but this time we're gonna be along the Hudson River. Beautiful area. What else we waiting for? What up, No. He's like, What's he up? turned three shades of red. <laughs> I was gonna say, That's why I he's broke like, that. I was gonna he's say, like, got a, is it really John's daughter? Say got a pretty daughter. She, she's pretty, but that's, she's not blonde. <laughs> What's up, guys? That's what I said. Don't change your hair color, man. That was funny. That was hilarious. All right, we're ready to rock. Hollywood. I'm my man. Oh, you got the you got the tour pack on and all, everything today, huh? Damn. Tour pack's always on. Oh, is it? You I always like the extra lights. You always leave it on, huh? Okay. I lubed my clutch lever and the clutch cable inside a little bit. It's a little bit uh, easier now. So I got a couple things, a couple cool things going on, guys. I actually got some gauges from the doll. They're black with the white because I cannot stand these. I'll tell you why. Like when I'm riding, the sun's behind me and it hits the gauges, I cannot see anything. It's literally like all white. I don't know why they made the white backed face gauges. I don't, I don't like it. You can't see anything. So he actually gave me his gauges, which I am going to be putting them in. And I have another really important video. I'm waiting on the part uh, that I'm gonna do. It's about the clutch system and it's super important. So we are off. Steve's on his Harley today. Really beautiful bike. Street light special, all blacked out. He's got a lot of a lot of nice things on that bike. Oh well, yeah, the clutch lever is a lot easier. I used uh, silicone spray. a right here on Seven Lakes Drive going towards Bear Mountain. We're going to be crossing over the Bear Mountain Bridge. Starting to sprout. Leaves will probably be out 
I don't know, in a couple weeks, maybe sooner. You guys should definitely give it a try. I, like I told you before, I used a silicone spray with that little tiny nozzle on it, and I actually sprayed inside where the clutch cable inside the sheathing through the lever right here. And then I worked it a couple times and lubed it up. It's, believe it or not, it's actually a lot easier to pull. Give it a shot. It feels a lot smoother. I think because of that clutch cable is kind of almost like riding inside of that tight sheathing. Stop over here. And I think I have a bug in my helmet. <laughs> I feel it on my ear. here because it's pretty early but uh, I guess now we could go we're going to Roundup Texas barbecue supposedly great barbecue they open at 1130 should be open but look how absolutely crystal clear this water is and there's like stops everywhere along this seven lakes uh, drive all the way up into Bear Mountain and passed and this is the same way that we go to uh, Storm King Highway but we're going to be crossing over the Bear Mountain Bridge and then we're going to be on the eastern side of the Hudson River so we're going to show you guys all of that it's amazing riding up here I'm telling you definitely check it out oh, what a gorgeous day stop by the water dirt bike action. Oh, that looks like fun. Some kayaks in the water today.
coming down towards the Hudson River, but we're more north than Manhattan, a lot more north than Manhattan. It's right there. Going across the Hudson. If you go right, that's a really nice twisty road they got to look out over there. We're going to go left because we're going to grab Sunny Eat in Cold Spring, New York. Well, let's see if we could stop over here so I could show you guys the area. Hudson River, Bear Mountain Bridge, which you guys just seen in the drone footage. We just pulled over off to the side. We're gonna go to the Roundup Texas Barbecue right now. I just wanted to show you guys this beautiful area. It's just absolutely beautiful. The riding here on this side of the Hudson is beautiful on the east side. That's the west side right there. And if you keep going down, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 miles up, that's where that Storm King Highway is. And that's amazing riding as well but this entire area this entire hudson valley area is absolutely gorgeous to ride in nine d right there as soon as you guys cross the bear mountain bridge hang a left or a right either way is beautiful riding twisty road scenic uh, i got scenic spots where you could just stop view the entire hudson river we got about another eight miles to go get some barbecue steve says it's really good so let's see i want to i want to see if he knows his barbecue let me know in the comments below does anybody else have like these white faced gauges and if you do do you have any issues kind of seeing basically your speed and all the information on there on a sunny day because I sure as hell do 
And like I said, the sun's got to be behind me, shining directly on them. And it's like, I don't see anything. It's all pretty much all white. Not your daddy. Not your daddy. <laughs> Man, Harley horn sucks. Glenn's horn is good. Sounds like a car horn. here up on the right Texas barbecue all righty then I knew it was right off 301 I wasn't sure yeah we could sit inside you sit inside or outside you've been here a couple times yeah really good what did you have brisket brisket what do you recommend Marble, yeah. brisket, oh. and the ribs, the meat falls off the bone. The oh, sausage really? is amazing. Okay. And all the sides are good. Awesome. And Texas barbecue. We won best barbecue of Hudson Valley. Nice. Roundup. And this is uh, Cold, Spring? Cold Springs? Cold Springs. Cold Springs, New York. Come check it out. Well, actually, I'll tell you how good it is. We'll tell you how good it is. And then you could come check it out. Okay. <laughs> Let's hit it. Brisket and ribs. There we go. I don't smell so good in here. Oof. I'm right. looking good. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, man. That's a keto keto lunch right there. Yeah. <laughs> Jim's still waiting on his. <laughs> yeah, that's mine. Thank you. Appreciate it. Look at that. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Old meat. How can you go wrong with that? Good? So unbelievable. We need to taste that sauce. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is incredible. Talking about I, homemade. I am happy. This place is a treat. It really is. Oof. Wow. This is the best barbecue I ever had. Really? I mean, I've eaten probably a dozen or so barbecue places. This is the best I've ever had. All right, let's test the taste of sausage first. It's like steak. Is it? <laughs> Everything's incredible. That's good. Telling the guys about this place for a while now. Oh man, that brisket is like really tender. Yeah. No problem. Oh yeah, that's good. I would have this over Katz's pastrami any day. Mm. And then the one in Brooklyn. Mm. Haven't been to the one in Manhattan yet. I don't know if it's any different, but. Well, good. Maybe it's just a point, right? Mm. Not yet. <laughs> mm. Rips fall apart too. Yeah. It's because of where it good is. Good choice, buddy. Yeah, thank you. It, it's, it's kind of a little bit of a rural area here. It wouldn't be the same either. Probably not. Briskets on the money, sausage is delicious. Meat falls right off the bone on the ribs. What do you think? Well, good, right? Fantastic. Real good. That's good? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jim got a half a... What'd you get? A whole chicken over there? They made half a chicken. <laughs> 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 
the true barbecue connoisseurs, these ribs would be a little bit too much. So for good. Them well, that was exceptional. That was really good. The brisket, the sausage, the ribs, it was absolutely delicious. Come check it out. Roundup Texas Barbecue in Cold Springs, New York. Great riding, beautiful area, beautiful location. The food is fantastic. I ate every single bit of it. Thanks again, Steve, appreciate it. Absolutely amazing. The owner's gonna show us the smoker. I, I'm assuming he's the owner. Right here. Okay. Nothing's working right now. Nice. Is this on smoking now? No? Yeah, no, there's nothing smoking right now. So what, how do you, like, when do you smoke? Like, through the night? We smoke overnight, yes. Oh, overnight. Yeah. Okay. That way we're ready in the morning and ready to go. Take, you know, the ribs take eight hours. Briskets takes 20 hours. I got to smoke it overnight. Can't 20 do. hours? Yeah. Does somebody have you know to stay Notice how tender that brisket was? Yeah. Oh yeah, of yeah, course. Everything, everything was delicious. Though, yeah. Does somebody have to stay here and watch this? No, no, no. You might get a mad rush of people uh, after this video post, so I'm, I'm waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be waiting for it. For yeah, sure. absolutely. Circle fanatics on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Bill. Owner. Owner. Yeah. Thanks, Bill. Appreciate yeah. it. No, I appreciate Great it. Great food. Delicious. Awesome, Bill. Uh, thank you. Guys. Twenty hours. So, what do you actually do while this is smoking for twenty hours? You I just leave. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, is that gas? Oh, no, wow. electric. electric. Oh, wow, interesting. Yeah. Huh. yeah. So you go home, go to bed, and come back. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. I come back down, it's ready to go. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Appreciate uh, it. Thank you, guys. Good, Good luck. 20 hours. That's why it's electric, so you don't have to. Damn. Mess with 20 oh. hours. Damn. Low and slow. Low and slow, baby. Low and slow. <laughs> really cool place. Definitely come give Bill a holler. Tell him Cycle Fanatic sent you. Also, what I want to tell you guys is where I was talking about the gauges before. I actually have the gauges at home. So stay tuned to the end of the video and I will show you guys the gauges I'm going to be putting into the bike. And uh, I also like and respect your guys' opinion. So as soon as we get back home at the end of this video, I'll show you guys what... Uh, what my boy Nadal hooked me up with. Oh man, that clutch is a lot easier to pull in and out. Definitely try that, guys. Little silicone spray. belly full belly of meat <laughs> I got the meat sweats full belly of meat Harley Davidson beautiful weather good friends what more do you need great roads yeah so I guess I'm gonna have to take the entire front fairing off again so I could get to those two gauges I think Nadal was telling me that it's kind of plug and play, super easy. And then, I think I'm, I might have to move some stuff around to get to them, but not a big deal. And then these should be super easy. So maybe on a rainy day, uh, when we have like a day or two of rain and I can't go out and make some ride videos, we'll bring you guys into the garage and we'll replace the gauges because I, I do not like I do not like these white gauges. I mean, I, I like how they look, but once, as soon as the sun hits them, uh, then it's done. I can't see anything, and I hate that. Be changing out the mirrors to black ones. I just think, like, the whole top of the bike is black. I just think it's going to look so much better in black because now it's like the chrome is like bam in your face you know what i mean it's like the only thing that's chrome kind of other than the center console but i think it's gonna just look a lot better in black that's another little thing we're gonna change
Now this road, we're just coming from the back end of it. When we got off by the Bear Mountain Bridge, and I told you guys you could make a right, but we made a left. Well, if you made a right, you'd be on this road. This road is super twisty, super awesome. And they also have a nice lookout on top. And right there's the Hudson. But you gotta keep your eyes on the road here. Again, like thousand foot drop right there. Really twisty road. Right there is a Bear Mountain Bridge. Oh boy, is it hot! Look at that view. Wow. See right there is the bridge. That's where we were at the base of it. A lot of blind turns though. And then we went that way this morning. Okay guys, just got back. What an amazing ride, man. Amazing day, great food. Thanks again, Steve. Excellent, so let me show you guys. I have the gauges right here that Nadal gave me. And let me show you my gauges again. See how, like white-faced, they're not really white, they, I mean they are, but they're not. They're almost like a s silvery type. And then when the sun hits them, they're gone. So this is what, I think I'm gonna be putting in are the black gauges because look how easy it is to read the gauges. You see that? Because this one also, it doesn't even, even when it's lit up, I mean, at nighttime, it's okay. It's, I can see it perfectly, but I'm telling you in the sun, I cannot see it. So I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have the white face gauges. You know, I'm thinking about putting in the black ones because I think it's just gonna be a lot easier to read and I think it's gonna look better with everything black. Hit me up in the comments, let me know. Thanks for watching guys. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, man, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.